I'm going to show you how to perform a reclassification of vector data and then an aggregation or dissolve function. With vector data, when we want to reclassify it, there's no simple tool to be able to do this like we would do with raster data. There's a couple of steps that are involved. So first of all, when we look at my attribute table, maybe what we want to do here is reclassify according to income level into high, medium, and low. We can uh, pretend that these rectangles represent neighborhoods or some kind of census unit. Okay. So in order to do this, the first thing we have to do is add a field that I'm going to call level. And so now we have some place to put our, our classes that we're going to create. So there's different ways we can do this, but if you have a lot of records, which normally you would, we can use the select by attribute function and select for example here income that's less than 50,000. If I select apply that will select um, the records that match my query and so those have now been uh, selected in my map and in my attribute table. If I then use the field calculator I can tell it to perform a calculation so that level equals low but because I've already made my selection it only performs the calculation on the records that have been selected. So you can see here that those have become uh, values of low in my level field. I could do the same thing for the medium and high. That's normally what you would do as a quick shortcut here. I, and maybe just to show you to how to do some editing, I'm going to turn on the editor and put in these values by hand. So now we've got low, medium, and high. Okay, and I'll stop editing save my edits. Right, so now, just to remind us, we have a low value there, whoops, and a low value there. So um, you don't have to do this, but often what then happens is you want to aggregate values based on the, the new classes that you've created through your reclassification. And the tool that we can use to do that is called Dissolve. So when I open that, I only have one input feature. So I'm going to use that in order to do my um, dissolve here, so rectangles, and then I'm going to ask it to create, uh, I'll leave the, the default name here, rectangles dissolve one. So the important thing with the dissolve feature function tool is that you have to tell it what to dissolve by. What it's going to do is look for polygons that are adjacent to one another so that they share a boundary and they have the same um, value for whatever field I choose. So the one that I've created is level. That's what I've reclassified by. So any two polygons that are adjacent to each other share a boundary and have the same um, value for level, that internal boundary or that shared boundary will be removed. And so now, it took a second for it to do it, it's created my dissolve feature, and you'll see this is a new data set that's been created, and the internal boundary of my features have been removed based on the classes that I created. That's basically it. You have your reclassification and your aggregation.